This module talks about estimating the confidence interval estimate for the difference between two population proportions. Sometimes researchers are interested to measure the magnitude of the difference between two population proportions. They may want to compare some dichotomous characteristic on the basis of their proportion among men versus women or maybe knowing the differences between two age groups or two socioeconomic groups or looking at dynamics for two diagnostic groups. So an unbiased point estimator for the differences between two population proportion is provided by the difference between two sample proportions which are given by p1 hat minus p2 hat. Like other confidence interval estimates, here we'll use the same expression where we will use the estimate for the difference between two proportions, plus minus the reliability factor and the standard error of estimate for the difference between two population proportions. When n1, that is the sample size for the first population, and n2 is the sample size for the second population, are large and the population proportions are not too close to zero or one. We make use of the central limit theorem and assume that the normal distribution theory may be employed to obtain the confidence interval. Hence, 100 into 1 minus alpha percent confidence interval for difference in proportions can be obtained as P1 hat minus P2 hat plus minus Z 1 minus alpha by 2, which is the reliability factor. And since here we are assuming the normal distribution, reliability factor will be obtained from the standard normal distribution and the standard error of the difference between two population proportions, which is given by square root of the p1 hat 1 minus p1 hat divided by n1 plus p2 hat into 1 minus p2 hat over n2. Let's take an example. Connor et al. investigated gender differences in proactive and reactive aggression in sample of 323 children and adolescents 68 females and 255 males. The subjects were from unsolicited consecutive referrals to a residential treatment center and a pediatric psychopharmacology clinic serving a tertiary hospital and medical school. In the sample, 31 of the females and 53 of the males reported sexual abuse. We wish to construct a 99% confidence interval for the difference between the proportions of sexual abuse in the two sample groups. So the sample proportions for the females and males are respectively given by p hat f for females, which is 31, divided by 68, that is total, equals to 0 0.4559, and p m hat represent proportion for males, which is equals to 0 0.2078. And the difference between sample proportions is p f hat minus p m hat, which is given by 0 0.2481. The estimated standard error of the difference between sample proportion is obtained by the formula for the standard error, and it's given here as 0 0.0655. The reliability factor can be obtained from the standard normal distribution, and here in this case, our interest is to obtain 99% confidence interval. Hence, we look at the confidence level of 99 and the area under the curve where it is 90.9950, the Z alpha by 2 value is 2.58. Using this reliability factor, difference in proportion and the standard error of estimate for the difference in proportion, the confidence interval that we get is 0 0.0791 as a lower confidence limit and 0 0.4171 as upper confidence limit. Interpreting it as that we are 99% confident that for the sample population, the proportion of the cases of reported sexual abuse among female exceeds the proportion of cases of reported sexual abuse among males by somewhere between 0 0.0791 and 0 0.4171. Since the interval does not include zero value, Hence, we can conclude that the proportions are different.